Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my Apple Watch and how I customize it and what apps I'm loving that correspond with my iPhone and watch, all the ways that I use it to be productive in my day-to-day -day life. Okay guys, here is my first face that I've got to show you. I have about six of them, but I really only use about three. So this is my, I guess my homepage. I love this face the best. I customized all of this obviously on my phone. Uh, but in the top left, I've got my Melbourne time zone because I'm obviously Australian and that is where my family and friends mostly are in Melbourne. So I have uh, Melbourne up the top left there. I've got obviously the time and date of where I am right now in Vancouver and I've got the weather. I'm a big weather girl. I like to know what's going on, especially with the snow on the horizon, as you guys can see there. So lovely and chilly here. And I've got obviously all um, my places around the world that I like to know what's going on in. And yeah, I can probably get rid of a few of those there. So if we go back, I've got my podcast just, uh, my podcast just in the middle. I've got my activity rings and I've got my workout. I like to have this here. I just find it really easy just to tap and get my walk there. I've got outdoor walk, yoga, hit and boxing on my top ones, dance sometimes if I'm doing like Zumba. Um, and yeah, they're the ones that I use the most. Outdoor walk is obviously the most used ones. So um, yeah, and podcasts there as well and activity rings. We can hit on that, see how I'm doing for the day. So I have hit my move, hit my exercise and nearly finished my standing for the day and it's 6 p.m. So there's still time yet. I've done a good amount of steps um, and it just sort of gives you the outline of what I've done today. And yeah, you can change your goals on how much like how many calories you want to lose each day um, or burn, sorry, not lose. Um, exercise goals, you can't do more than 60 minutes. So I just have it at the highest and 11 hours is my stand goal. Um, there we go, go back. Um, podcast, obviously in the middle, nice and easy. These, like, I love this face and I like to just change the color every so often, depending on what I'm wearing or whatnot. I had this like red and green vibe because of Christmas, but now we're in January. So next face along, we have this one, very classic. Again, I like to change the color up at the moment. I've gone for like a nice slaty blue color. And again, workout is nice and easy to hit. And got my step count in the middle, Melbourne's time right now. And I've got some affirmations. So you can just tap on these affirmations. I downloaded this on my uh, iPhone and it syncs up really nicely. So this is just great if I'm in transit, if I'm waiting for an appointment, if I'm feeling anxious at any time or feeling a bit down, I can literally just tap on my watch and it gives me amazing quotes. So I love that one. So that's all there. So I like to have that one. These two are probably my favorites at the moment. If we go across, I love this aesthetic. I think it's really modern, like mod 60s, 70s sort of vibe. You can change this color up and yeah, pretty much whatever color you want. I really love the two different pinks. I think it's really fun and literally just tells me the time and it's a nice option if I'm at work, so I'm not distracted. Next face along, we've just got the activity. Pretty standard. I'm sure you've seen this one a lot. You can change that color, but I like to keep it white. Next one across. Oh my goodness. I love this one. This one is called The Artist, I believe. So every time you tap on it, you get a new face. It is so cool. And I believe when there's a new minute, they blink. Like it blinks, but... Oh, there we go. She blinked. I just think this is so fun. You can just tap. I mean, obviously you can just leave it on a beautiful face and have it there, but it is so funky fresh. Love that one. Pride because I love pride and I love rainbows and it's just a really fun one. I mainly had this one in summer just because I was always wearing different colors and yeah, just don't use it as much at the moment just for aesthetic purposes. And then, yeah, I think this is one of my last ones. Just a plain face. I love a neutral background. This is very, very clear, very easy to read. And if I'm feeling tired, I can literally just glance and it's a full on like proper looking watch. Um, yeah, I love that one. What else do I have? Really similar to my second one, but just a lot more plain. Um, what else? Oh, this one's cool. Look at that. 
Wow, so, so cool. Very mesmerizing. I love how it has Wednesday, January 5th, like it's written. But again, I could just stare at that all day. It's really like a lava lamp. What? A oh, okay, yep, I forgot I put this one in. So you can choose about five different cities around the world. So I've, I love New York, personally. So I've got New York, and it changes from day, daytime to nighttime. And, oh, oh my god, go back. Go back. How did I get here? And oh yeah, there I've got another one. I put this one in the other day. Again, just for aesthetic purposes. Love the grey. Just goes with the whole aesthetic of winter. And I love the font. I just think that's really cool. And yeah, that is it. So if we go into the apps that you have available, all of these are here. I love the breathe function on a uh, Apple Watch, you can set it up to do every hour and it just reminds you to breathe and it literally has vibrations that give you like a count in for four and out for four. So I love that feature. That is um, something that comes with the Apple Watch. Um, got a little cheeky cal um, calculator. It's so cute. Look how cute it is. As we scroll down, heart rate I am is the affirmations, I believe. Yeah. So you can just get into that app. That was really easy to find. Messages, again, links up to Facebook. So I've really just got messages and um, there's no other social media on here. Shazam is great. Literally just wherever you are. That was when I was at Van Dusen. I'll leave a link <laughs> there. But I had this, I was like, I know this overture and it was from the holiday movie, which is a great movie. Going down to sleep. I haven't worn this sleeping for a little bit but it is a really great function that i think is awesome on the apple watch so it gives you an outlook of what days you are sleeping when you got up when your heart rate changes so that's a really great one i need to make um use of the function a little bit more but yeah you can change your different bedtimes depending on your schedule for work spotify stopwatch transit so yeah it has all the buses that are near me and it gives me a little time of like how close and how far away they are. So that's lovely. Got my transit app there. That works really well if you are in BC, especially Vancouver. Uh, wallet, self-explanatory. World clock is great too. Again, you can just use the little crown to go through different time zones. Another great function I want to show you guys quickly is the find my iPhone function. So if you swipe up, it chimes. And... <laughs> Lo and behold, there is my phone. But I just think that is such a great function. There's theater mode as well, which is awesome. It just doesn't give you a bright light or anything and sort of does it a do not disturb function. If I take that off, you've got actual do not disturb sleep, which uh, locks this crown. So even if you move it in your sleep, it doesn't um, unlock and do anything on your Apple Watch. Torch just gives you like a really bright light and you can make it brighter or softer. I think that's SOS. Um, but yeah, that is everything on my Apple Watch. Let me know if you guys have any similar faces to me. I love that you can customize it. Um, and yeah, let me know if there's anything that I should change, anything that I should add, any apps that are really great for the Apple Watch that you think I might like. I would appreciate it. So why get an Apple Watch um, and not get another sort of step counter or pedometer or Fitbit. Basically, I was looking at the pros and cons of the different watches and different, I guess, step trackers. And for me, the Apple Watch made sense. I've been looking at it as a beautiful luxury per like purchase for myself for my birthday. My birthday was coming up. I'd been looking at Fitbits on Amazon and everything like that. And I just thought the activity rings were so, I don't know, they just really make me want to work harder. Uh, during the day for my movements. So I started getting back into my health and fitness last year after kind of going off it for a while and just not really putting in any effort. So yeah, this year, especially I've been doing all my workouts at home. I have no idea what I'm burning, what sort of like kilometers I'm walking to and from work, things like that, that I just, I'm curious about. Like I love eating a lot of food. So I don't track my food or anything, but like tracking my movement is so important to me. And I know, yeah, how satisfying it is to close up the rings and you can set the rings to whatever you would like. It's not like the Apple Watch has a set amount that you have to burn a thousand calories a day or something like that. But it's crazy. Like I did a yoga session yesterday that burned more calories than a hit. And in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, yoga, like I'm not doing anything. But I was, my heart was beating and the Apple Watch 
you know, it won't be 100% accurate, but it makes me feel like I'm doing a lot more than maybe I thought I was without it, if that makes any sense. Apart from that, I also loved the Apple Watch because of the sleep function. It links up with my phone. I don't have to have my phone by my bed anymore. I can have my Apple Watch on and there's like a light vibration and a soft little tune and it's my alarm and it wakes me up or I could even have it lying on my bedside table, but I don't pick up my phone and look at Instagram first thing in the morning or my emails or anything like that. You can turn notifications on and off so I don't get bombarded in the morning and I'm still customizing it, but I could still like hit meditation and do a mindful meditation while I'm in bed with my watch and nothing else. I really love the sleep and the activity features for me personally. And I had the money and I wanted to invest in a piece that I would use and not just leave it in a cupboard. And I do usually not like watches. I don't really wear them and I find I just knock them on everything. But with the sport band, it's so comfortable. I honestly don't, yeah, I forget that it's on sometimes. And I really don't feel like I'm looking at my phone as much either. So my screen time has gone down by half. No joke. Like my goal for the rest of the year was to cut my screen time down. And although I like link up my phone to the TV to watch YouTube and things like that, it's still down by half. Like I'm not sitting there scrolling on my phone because what are you doing here scrolling on the like the grid and looking at the alphabetical order of all the different apps like there's not too much to do on the watch apart from its function which is to tell the time i love knowing about the weather and things like that but i'm not like looking at the weather every few minutes if that makes any sense so i don't find myself being drawn to my phone as much because i really just need it for like if i have a buzz and i know there's a notification in terms of a message and I'll go to my phone and reply to the text or the Facebook message, but I can't look at Facebook on my watch. I can't look at Instagram. I can't go on TikTok, any of those. So I love it for that purpose and it's gonna really help me staying more off my phone, which was one of my goals for this year. So those are the reasons that I purchased the Apple Watch and those are also the elements that I love about it. So if you're umming and ahhing about whether to get an Apple Watch, go with your gut. If you think you're gonna use it and you think you will be inspired to close all your rings and track your sleep and whatever else, then go for it. It is expensive, so if you're just wanting to track your steps, nothing else, you don't care about calories, you don't care about sleep, don't care about checking your messages on your watch. I know that like Fitbits can do that anyway, but go with one that's $100 instead of $400 or whatever else I paid for this. But I love that Apple syncs up and I just, I'm a sucker for Apple. I'm not queuing up to get the iPhone 13, but I do love the Apple Watch and I was happy to get the SE. It has everything I need in it. I don't need an EC or whatever other thing. The heart rate is good for me. I don't have any heart conditions or asthma or anything, which I know that some people um, want to have those features. But yeah, and that is everything I have today about my Apple Watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any fun little tips or tricks or things that I'm not using on my watch, please let me know. I may have not downloaded it or I may not understand how cool and fun and exciting it is to have it on my wrist every day. But please let me know how you customize your watch. But as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.